Hilton and hotels ringing the opening bell here at the NYSE today, celebrating the company's 100th anniversary. I caught up with CEO Chris Nassetta to discuss how the recent China trade tensions are impacting his business. We have not seen, to be honest, any direct impact from the trade war. We have a relatively sizable business in China, but it, you know, keeping it in perspective, it makes up about a little over 3% of our bottom line. Um, we have a big business um, for outbound Chinese business. We have a growth business in China in terms of adding new hotels. And when I look across the spectrum, you know, in, you know, in, in China, in country business, outbound business, I look at our growth on the development side, I have not seen any real impact Even from that. Even Chinese tourists visiting Ch the U.S.? Chinese tourists are, uh, have gone down, but that started last year before the trade war started. So and was not a material part of our business. So, you know, the reality is, I know that's what everybody's talking about. We haven't really seen any material impact in our business. We are obviously hopeful that uh, calm heads prevail and a deal is made because, you know, my biggest worry about, you know, the trade war, as I think would be the case with pretty much everybody you would talk to is, does it trigger other things? You know, does it, does it really trigger a more material slowdown in the broader global economy, in the U.S. economy. Uh, and those are things that, of course, you know, uh, that I worry about. I haven't seen it yet, you know, looking at our business in the U.S. and around the world. Business is quite good. You don't see any evidence of the global slowdown? I, I, I would say, yeah, yes. I mean, but, but consistent with what I've been saying, um, this year is a little bit slower growth than last year around the world, but still reasonably good growth. Um, and that's what we've been saying. We came into the year saying we think coming off of, you know, what was a, a, a pretty darn good year in 2018, that 2019 would be another very good year, um, but same store growth would be a little bit slower. And that's exactly what we've seen. So, yes, we are seeing a little bit of slowdown. But I would say if you look at the, you know, every month that we've sort of been progressing through the year, I haven't seen any real material difference as this has been escalating. Pretty optimistic take there. Also said that he sees the U.S. consumer in fairly strong shape, slower than last year, but not a total slowdown. We also had to discuss Airbnb, especially with Marriott recently getting into home sharing, and whether Nasetta sees them as a threat to his business or not. Listen. I think the answer is no. I'm well chronicled in this publicly, privately, with you and lots of other folks. Um, I fundamentally think it's a different business. We've done a lot of work to understand it. We've done a lot of work with our customers to ask them, you know, what do you think of it? How, how do you use it? Do you want us? Do you need us? Do you want us to be Marriott's in this space? Getting into home our sharing. One of our competitors is. And we, the more we talk to the customers, the more confidence I have that it is not the right thing for us to do at the moment. Now, we'll, we're always going to be looking at it, and if we need to change tack a little bit, what we're really focused on now, because it's what our customers are telling us they want from us, is being the premium player. What does that mean? That means focusing on high-quality, consistent, branded experiences, which is taking product, wrapping it in service, you know, with the number one great place to work culture in the world, um, adding technology to it, loyalty to it, and putting it all in a package that is really done in a consistent, high-quality way where customers pay a premium for it because they know what to expect and we deliver for them. And, and that's what we do well. That's what we've been rewarded for. That's why we're growing faster than our competition. That's why the new unit growth is coming in. That's why we're, the model is resilient. And the reality is it's not that the home sharing model is a bad business. It's just different than what I just described. It feels and so, like that we're having some sort of convergence. They bought Hotel Tonight. Marriott's getting into home sharing. They're yeah. preparing to go public. They're increasingly catering to corporate travel. I agree. And I, when I, I talk to our customers, there's this little thing that I've sort of grown up with, like focus and discipline, <laughs> right? And that is when I talk to our customers, they tell us what they want from us. And so my attitude is I want to do even more to give them what they want and do it even better. Make our products even more consistent, higher quality, do an even better job with service. Invest in technology like crazy to delight them and take the friction out. Make loyalty something that is a club that you have to be a member of because it gives you all sorts of options and experiences. That's what I think customers want. And it's not, you know, I can't judge it for other people. I think if we get those things right, that we're going we're gonna to perform really, really well in the short, intermediate, and long term. And we'll keep looking at that. And clearly, there is some convergence. But fundamentally, they're different models. By definition, what we do in terms of quality and consistency 
is something different than I think they produce or can produce. We'll see. Time, time will tell, but for, for us, focus really matters.